Hey Dream Team, welcome to this much teaching of the Development Guide. Today's topic is value and worth, and I'm excited to teach on it. But before I get into that, I wanna remind you why we do the Development Guide every month. See, today's teaching, it's all about you. Every month we do this Dream Team Development Guide and the teaching to care and invest in you. We love you and we wanna see God's plan and purpose in your life lived out to the fullest. My hope today is this teaching blesses you and makes an impact in your life. See, as a church, we exist to help all people realize God loves them unconditionally. You play such a huge role in that. You're helping to populate heaven and restore marriages and reach the next generation to spread the gospel. You're helping people fulfill their plan and their purpose for their life, and you're caring for people in their time of need. You're called for such a time as this. You were made to make an impact. How awesome is that? Hey, we can't thank you enough for everything you do. It's an honor to serve God alongside you. Hey, today, I wanna talk to you about value and worth, which corresponds to our church value, start with people. See, God's character is a loving Father. In fact, He is love, and He wants a deep relationship with you. I mean, how the creator of the universe wants to have a deep relationship with you. That is so amazing. And His love is unconditional for you. No matter what you've done, no matter what has happened, for, happened to you, your value and worth are found from the love your heavenly Father has for you and the price that was paid for you with His Son. See, when you understand His love and your value, you're, you're truly free from trying to earn it. And, and then you're empowered to be in full relationship and walk in His ways. You know, I thought it would be good today as we're starting out to define the words so we're all from the same starting point here today. Our two words, value and worth. The definition of value is it's a person's judgment of what's important in life and the principles of standards of behavior. That, direct, that directs their choices and decision-making process. It also means to consider someone or something to be important or beneficial, to have high opinion of. The definition then of worth is to be equivalent in value to. The sum of an item specified, the value equivalent to that of someone or something under consideration. The level at which someone or something deserves to be valued or rated. And so these two words have some similar meanings in describing something that is desirable, that is good, appreciated, esteemed, worthy, excellent, quality, great, and important. That's you. And this is the core of our church value, start with people. As a Christian, to start with people means we look to God's word for people's value and worth. So let's look at the scriptures and how Jesus modeled this to the woman at the well. This story is a very popular story, but a little background on this woman you will see in this story is she is a Samaritan woman. And see, Samaritans here were hated by the Jews in this time and vice versa. Jews would avoid even traveling through Samaria at all costs. Let me tell you how bad this is. There's an account in the Bible James and John asking Jesus about calling down fire from heaven to destroy them. Man, this is serious hatred. These people, they hated each other, but, but Jesus values this woman and she has worth to him. So let's look at his actions here in John chapter four, verses seven through 19, and then 25 and 26. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, will you give me a drink? His disciples had gone into the town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, you are a Jew and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? For Jews did not associate with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Sir, the woman said, you have nothing to draw with and this well is deep. Where can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us this well and drank from it himself, 
as did his sons and his flocks and his herds. Jesus answered, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water that I give will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I don't have to get thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water. He told her, Go, call your husband and come back. I have no husband, she replied. Jesus said to her, you are right when you say you have no husband. The fact is, you have had five husbands, and the man you now have is not your husband. What you have just said is quite true. Sir, the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. The woman said, I know that Messiah called Christ is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus declared, I am the Messiah. See, Jesus values the despised woman and culture at this time so much that he spends time with her, he talks with her, and he even reveals himself, the Messiah, like he had to no other person. Come on, he he valued her and he gave her so much worth. I think it's interesting also in this story, the woman of the well, this story comes right after Jesus the very night before met with Nicodemus, the Pharisee. See, Jesus came not only for the the down and out, but also the up and out. Up and out without Jesus, or down and out without Jesus. And I wanna encourage you today, maybe as you're tuning in and you can identify with this woman at the well, maybe you feel despised, maybe you feel hated, less than, forgotten about. Man, Jesus loves you unconditionally. I used to feel this way myself. And one day as I was a new believer and I'm reading my Bible every day, that's so important, I wanna encourage you to read something out of the Bible every day. I come across these scriptures in 1 Corinthians chapter one, verses 26 to 30, and these mean so much to me. I hope they mean so much to you after you hear them. It says, remember, dear brothers and sisters, that few of you were wise in the world's eyes or powerful or wealthy when God called you. Instead, God chose the things the world considered foolish in order to shame those who think they are wise. And he chose things that are powerless to shame those who are powerful. And God chose things despised by this world, things counted as nothing at all, and used them to bring to nothing what the world considers important. As a result, no one can ever boast in the presence of God. God has united you with Christ Jesus for our benefit. God made him to be wisdom himself. Christ made us right with God. He made us pure and holy and freed us from sin. I used to meditate on these all the time, these scriptures, because they said to me, I have value and I have worth. These things that the world and our world made me feel despised or shameful or worthless. Man, God has so much value and so much worth for us. He loves us. So again, looking at the scriptures and and looking at the definition of value, it's a person's judgment of what's important in life. And God has said here that you are valuable. The reality of it is you are so valuable and worth so much to God that he gave his son to pay the penalty for the sins that we all committed so we could spend eternity with him. It's so important to understand that our value and our worth come from God, not ourselves, not what we think about ourselves. It's what God's word says about us. And I'm gonna share the most popular probably scripture in the Bible. Everybody's heard the scripture. It's John 3, 16. It says, for this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God loves you so much. You have so much value and so much worth to God. Romans 10 and 13 says, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And I share that scripture because as I read these scriptures, I think it's so easy to say, oh, well, that's for my neighbor, that's for my friend, or we can look at the body of Christ as a whole and not individualize it. But this word is for you, that no matter what you've done, no matter what has happened to you, God turns no one away. So you're valuable, and to God, you're worth his son dying for you. 
Man, how awesome is that? Well, I hope you feel special in hearing that today. Your value and your worth come from God, not from people, not from your own feelings. You're valuable and worthy, not in and of our own selves, yourself, but because God says you are. So we see how Jesus modeled valuing someone, the woman at the well, and he demonstrated their the, demonstrated our worth by dying for us on the cross. But I also want to share with you a personal story from our pastors, Pastor John and Miss Michelle. See, years ago when they were just starting off the, the church, Pastor John and Michelle, Miss Michelle had such a burden in her heart for single moms. And see, when she was growing up, she grew up at, as a, a single parent home. Dad had left home, and when she was very young, she grew up in, in, in that kind of environment, and they struggled financially, and that caused them great pain and great shame. And she didn't want that for single moms, for kids, having to go through that growing up in our church. So they were just getting going in church, and she wanted to do something for single moms. And she felt inspired at a conference that they were at, another church conference, uh, but there really wasn't any money to get a single mom's ministry going in the early days of the church. So she feels like God is dealing with her to sell her wedding ring. Now, this is a ring that Pastor John bought for her. It has so much meaning, so much meaning to her. But the single moms and kids meant more to her. To her, they were so much more valuable than the ring. So she finds someone to buy her ring, and then she brings the money to Pastor John to start the ministry. He asks her, where did you get this money from? And she tells him. And he's like, what? You sold your wedding ring? And she's like, John, it's a ring. And these are people. I love these examples from God, Jesus, and our pastors. So your value and your worth come from God, not people. You're valuable and worthy, not in and of yourself, but because God says so. And the price that he paid for you with his son. See, that's why at Victory Family Church, one of our church values is we start with people. Because God loves all people. Jesus died for all people. And people are the why. So what we do is defined and empowered by people first. I hope you enjoyed this much teaching on uh, value and worth. And I encourage you to dig deeper. Download that development guide, the link right below the video. Check out, there's so much more information there. I've put together so much more content on this month's uh, teaching. I want to encourage you. We've also got a series on some going deeper. It's Pastor John's series, Crowned with Dignity and Worth. This is really his, his heart message for, for, for this church, what God has given him. It, this series will mean so much to you. I encourage you. Boy, you got you to gotta take in a couple of these videos. But I want to pray for you today. I want to end our time in prayer Again, because I want to personalize this for you. Because I know it's easy to hear these scriptures and think about it's for somebody else. But really, this teaching is for you. Would you bow your heads and pray for me? I want to pray over you today. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you today. Lord, we're so thankful, Lord, in your word that it tells us how valuable and worthy we are to you. Lord, in our value and worth that you showed that to us in sending your son, Lord, to die for us. That's how important that we are. Lord, I pray for everyone that takes in this teaching. Lord, for this message to be personalized in them, Lord, and in their heart. Lord, from this day forward, that they're never the same. That they know the value and the worth that you have shown us, Lord, in your word. And that's personalized and important to them in their life, everyday life. Lord, and that they help to, Lord, love all people unconditionally around them and show them their value and worth in and through you, Jesus. We thank you for that. We pray this all in your name, Jesus. Amen. Love y'all. God bless.